the last video we discussed the double angle connection for beam to column in this angle in this video we will be discussing the double angle shear connection from beam to beam connection it can be welded or bolted to the girder and may be belted or bolted to the beam the type of connection is only weld valid if you are supposed to transfer shear force it between the members the scenario in this video involves design of purl end to the beam connection it's mistakenly written column connection it's purl end to beam connection the model of e taps is already provided we have to design the connection for purl end connection the column in ram connection the software we will be using is referred as dabg that is beam girder double angle connection let's define the connection that is bg connection the length of the member and the column size the girder size the length of the member here for the purlin is 15 feet bg connection the material for the purlin to be used is a99250 ksi now let's add the load cases which will form up the load combinations we will be generating the load combinations using asc 710 lrfd the load list combined is given it will be utilizing the cases which we defined now we are supposed to give the input of the load since it is a shear connection so the only important forces here are axial and shear forces the connection is for the purlin to girder connection so we can select the purlins here and make the rest invisible because our concern is to get only forces from the purlins let's start with the axial forces results pick the maximum axial force in the member as we are supposed to design the typical connection the maximum force i see is tension force of 0.017 kips tension force is more critical usually in connections compared to compression force the axial force due to live load we will be checking now it is also tension force as the result is in positive you can use any other software for analysis purposes since we have completed the e taps course the link of complete e taps course is given in description you can check it now we have option whether to select the maximum positive or negative seismic forces if the magnitude is same then you can select the same sign forces of dead load or live load if the dead load live load axial force are positive for example in our case it's positive so i picked the maximum positive values from ex and ey cases now we'll be proceeding to shear force for dead load shear force for live load shear force for earthquake in x direction which is 0 shear force for earthquake in y direction since the purlins are not part of primary or moment resisting frame so that's why no axial force no shear force due to seismic 
similarly no moment due to earthquake in x or y the moment at support due to dead load and live load is zero that's why we are assigning or designing the shear connection now i'll be assigning the shear connection to the configuration you can also go for a welded connection load combine the load or design code is shown here and the materials and properties of the members used the stress ratio is in green color it means that the connection is passing the code checks if it was in yellow that it means that it is filling one or more code checks the stress ratio of 0.014 is very less as the loads are very less here so we can further economize the connection as there are a lot of connections in the structure the properties can be seen here and also be changed you can also adjust the position and the coping length and width the girder properties can also be changed similarly let's proceed to the connection the connection taken is of angle 33 we can make it as angle 44 as i prefer at least having 2 inches on either side of the bolt center to center you can also check for the clearance the stress ratio is very less so i can reduce the bolt diameter to half inches now you can see the stress ratio has increased but still in limit of maximum that is 1 you can also make the connection as welded connection but i'll be taking as bolted here similarly bolt on the girder side are taken as same smaller diameter by me as the stress ratio is very less you can also check the results some the the forces are u is shear force pu is axial force the green tick mark shows that the connection passes the code checks and also okay with the stress ratios the global stress ratio is 0.2 that is 80% of question thank you for watching check the links in description for complete courses